Namaste everyone, how are you? Now what I'm going to speak about might sound extremely harsh, but it doesn't matter. That's sometimes the nature of truth. So, but before I start, I'm going to try to make a couple of things clear. One, I'm not a doctor, so none of this is medical advice and should not be taken as such. Uh, please consult a doctor if you actually have any problems um, regarding your health. Number two, <clears throat> what I'm about to say does not mean to undermine the suffering that anyone at any level of self-realization experiences. So there could be somebody who's a child who's experiencing something which is hard for them and that is hard for them. It might be a joke for me, but it's hard for them. So I understand that and I'm not undermining that. All right. What I'm going to talk about is why depression is cool nowadays. And this has also been systematically done. So let me talk about this because past few interactions that I've had with people, this kind of topic came up. Uh, and I'm not saying they were in this situation and you know, they were talking to me about it, but like basically um, in the conversation, I ended up telling them this and I realized that, you know, maybe I think uh, others also need to know this because a lot of people are leading themselves into the mental health trap without even realizing so. Okay. So let me begin. Number one, nowadays you will realize or you'll see that some or the other person claims to be depressed. Some or the other person claims to have trauma. Uh, some of the other person claims to have mental health anxiety issues. All right. And these number of people have just increased. All right. Now, the thing is, I'm not denying the fact that there is an actual rise and there are certain reasons for it, which are at a level at which neither the medical fraternity, nor the pharmaceutical industry, nor uh, society in general can understand as to why a lot of people are going through the actual mental health issues. Right now, I'm not going to talk about that. If you would want me to talk about that, let me know. I'm going to talk about why people are claiming to have mental health issues. Okay. And they like to claim that label to themselves. So the thing is, there are certain people, for example, who run the world. Okay. They decide what is the next thing, which is the going to be the cool thing. They decide what's the next thing, which is going to be in the trends. Okay. So. 10 years ago, it was cool to take on the label of I'm a feminist, all right, or I'm pro this or I'm pro that, all right. People love to die for an identity now simply because the amount of work it takes to truly build an identity is not possible for a lot of people, number one. And number two, we are incredibly more lazy today than we were as a species you know, before. So now what is happening is that you'll have more and more people who claim to be depressed, claim to have trauma. You'll see it on dating profiles, you on, you know, dating apps, you'll see it on um, Instagram bios, all right, mental health survivor, depression survivor, and shit like that. Now the thing is, first of all, if somebody has something like this, why do they need to market it to other people? Because technically, Depression has become more of a marketing word now than anything else. Okay. It's literally now cool to be depressed in a lot of ways. Whereas more than half of these people do not even know what even one hour of actual depression feels like. All right. That's a kind of night which they are very lucky to have not entered yet in their life because many people never make it out of that darkness. Okay. So they don't know what actual depression is, but let's say I'm a high school student. I had a breakup. Now I'm depressed. All right. Let's say I'm somebody at work. And just because my parents have made my life comfortable and I don't know what it means to truly apply myself. So I'm not able to keep up with the work. So now I'll, you know, start going to a psychiatrist or, you know, the therapist and start with the narrative that, you know, I have anxiety now just because Indian parents, for example, love their children to that level that they on purpose 
protect them from getting exposure to pressure. But you need that, right? To build anti-fragility, you need that to build stability, you need that to build resilience. So now when you're in the actual world and those kind of situations come your way and you are not able to handle the load of handling a work life of an adult along with a household, along with a partner or whatever it is, now all of a sudden you're anxious and you know depressed. I understand if there is nervousness and there are challenges and stuff like that. But the ease with which today people are attaching themselves to these labels, I'm not making fun of them. I'm actually worried about them. Why? Because language is a weapon. People don't realize this. And when you start using this language, first of all, you don't even know why you're using this language. This is being made to happen to you. And I'll come to that in a second. But when you start using this language, even though it's a narrative to somehow gain sympathy, somehow gain attention, because you know, that's the new cool. So what happens is that after some time, you start actually believing that you're weak. After some time, you actually start believing that you're sick. And in some ways, there is nothing more powerful in this world than belief. Okay, it's a very, very strong force. It's an intangible force which can move mountains. So what happens is when you start attaching yourself to all of this and sooner or later you actually start believing all of this to the point where this kind of a condition might actually happen to you. Number one. Number two, what I spoke about that this is being made to happen to you is that the people who kind of orchestrate what happens in the world, they decide what's the next thing which is going to be cool. They love to decide the direction of individual thinking. That is why you'll see most people go through the same pattern of life every day. Okay. So if they get more and more people to believe that they're weak and that they're frail and that they're depressed and that they're this and that they're that, do you realize it becomes that much more easier to sell them shit and to feed them with shit? Because now you have a person who wasn't broken, but just because he realized, okay, this is the new pop culture. Let me assign myself to this before it's too late. They assign themselves to this sooner or later they start thinking like that because you know you're continuously repeating it and the thing is the nature of human behavior is such or words is such that if you've said something once then you feel compelled to in some way stand by them to keep up that act even if it was an act all right just like how it's the nature of human behavior that if you do something once you'll have you most probably are going to start doing it more and more or like you will do it again all right this is seen across animals like anything and humans because I personally feel we are the worst form of animal in today's Gaia nature. So what happens is that when you have individuals who start feeling or thinking that they're more and more frail, they're more and more weak, what ends up happening is that it becomes easy to get them onto pills. It becomes easy to sell them convenience because today if you will look at industry, if you look at commerce, if you will look at products and services, the ones which offer you convenience, they are the ones who are profiteering. How is it so? There might be a farmer in a rural area who uses completely ethical manners, completely ethical ways, which align with nature to generate a crop to feed the population around him but he is either being bought out or he's leading himself to suicide simply because now you have food corporations for example all right and there are big big companies which are making sure that there is a consistent produce of a consistent quality but the methods which they are using to achieve all of that are not really beneficial for people so like this, there's a lot of things which are happening, which, you know, I'll give you the example of convenience. You know, those drop down ads, which come from these motherfucking food delivery apps. It comes like had a long, hard day, sit back and relax. We'll get your food delivered to you in 15 minutes. Their hypocrisy is so visible that literally at the point of Chobid, this fucking bullshit, which they ran in 2020 across the world and people have fallen for it is that uh, they used to market it as uh, keep yourself safe let 
this app deliver your food to you what the fuck about that guy who's coming to deliver is what about his safety how is my safety more important than his safety if this was a true fucking problem in the first place but that's a whole different topic that pandemic so it gets easier to sell and choreograph these people who start thinking they are weaker and they are this thing and they are this thing all right and they start fucking latching on to these kind of labels to the point where they spend 2 3 years just keeping up that act in those 2 3 years they are not able to mature themselves into the adults which they would have otherwise done via the regular course of life and then they are forever at a lesser level than their counterparts who did not attach themselves to these labels and then the actual fuck up happens to them and then they can't handle it then the actual depression hits then the actual problems hit okay so my purpose in you know just sharing this is that more and more people just become aware of this become aware of where the fuck you're being led to as a rat or a fucking goat who's being herded all right because more than half of the people amongst us are just asleep they believe whatever the fuck is told to them there is zero individual thinking individual thought or belief in the individual themselves all right you'll go to a doctor they'll tell you yeah you have this problem and they'll put you on to something i'm not blaming doctors they are also brainwashed to another level there is a major difference between a doctor and a healer a healer solves the cause a doctor only treats symptoms and very soon there will be a time when faith in doctors and pharma as well as healthcare is just going to go because the basics which you know should have been basic rights for humanity such as health from the root education from the correct kind of fabric or you know what actually matters and these other kind of things they they would have been you know very different and it it will happen in the future there'll be different kinds of people living on the earth and everybody will be having different lifestyles because some people will realize this some people will never realize all right so just be aware of this that around you there could be people who you know attach themselves to these labels um maybe just try to show them this at least once that just be conscious of your own actions because all of us are so caught up in making sure our act stays upright and consistent in front of other people that in so many ways we lie to ourselves and fake our own being in order to keep that up that's not healthy if you're a piece of shit today accept to yourself you're a piece of shit today immediately you're a lesser piece of shit but on the other hand if you're going to make up an excuse that you're a piece of shit and you're going to attach some label to it that i was discriminated against because of my gender or i was discriminated against because of my sexual orientation or any of these fucking retarded things which people love to fall back on in order to get around in a more easy way it is only more harmful for you you need to understand this and you know time is very mis- i would say he is very uh, what's the word i'm looking for mischievous because at the age of let's say <clears throat> in your younger 20s you know you will par- parade around as a girl who has trauma and who has daddy issues or something when let's say maybe you didn't even have any of this stuff and then you continue living like that for some time as you also grow older sooner or later maturity will come to you in some way right then you will feel so fucking stupid for what the fuck you were doing for the past 3 4 5 years and now what do you do do you give in to the impulse of keeping your act consistent in front of other people to be socially not outcasted or accepted or do you come back to zero i fucked up accept it come to your own truth and start from there it's going to be tough and even after seeing this 
I would say probably 90% people will not choose this path. But it doesn't matter to me, it doesn't matter to people. The only person this matters to is you yourself. So make the choice. It's completely yours. Nobody interferes with it. And you have to own it. Regardless of whichever act you worry about, you'll have to own your choices going ahead in your own eyes. Be conscious of that. Thank you.